Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add an admin to your Facebook business page. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you log into your Facebook business page. Over on the left, click on Professional Dashboard. In your professional dashboard, over on the left again, scroll down until you see page access. Click on page access. Over on the right, to the right of people with Facebook access, click on add new. You'll get an add new dialog box, which explains to you what Facebook access means. You can go ahead and read that if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Next, in the Add New dialog box, you'll see who should have Facebook access of this page. And what you want to do is click in the search box and either type a name or an email address. I'm going to go ahead and type the name of a page that this client gave me to see if I can find it. And there you have it. As soon as I started typing the name, the name of the page popped up, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the name of the page. And then Facebook lets you know with Facebook Access, this page can manage the following. Content, message calls, community activity, ads, and insights. It will then ask if I want to allow this person to have full control. If the answer is yes, I would then go ahead and toggle on this button. In this case, what I'm going to do is toggle off this button because I don't want to give this page full access, but I do want to give someone else full access, which I will show you in one moment. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and click on the blue Give Access button. And for your security, Facebook will ask you to enter your password. So now mind you, if you are logged in to someone else's personal page to get to this page, you will need to add that person's password. If you are logged into your personal Facebook page, you will enter your Facebook password. So go ahead and enter your Facebook password. Click on the blue confirm button and meet me back here. You will get a message that this person has been invited and that the invitation will expire in 31 days. So if you're adding new people, make sure that you reach out to them to let them know that you did invite them and they either need to check their email or they will need to click on the notification bell on their Facebook business page. In there, they will find the invitation that they can click on and then accept. Now, I mentioned to you that there is another person that I want to add to this business page, and I want to give that person full access. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add New. Again, you'll get these same dialog boxes, and then I'll click Next. I'll click in this dialog box to search for the person's name or email address. And in this case, I'm going to add a person's name. When the person's name pops up, go ahead and click on the name. Again, we'll see the Add New dialog box. If we scroll down, we'll see Allow This Person to Have Full Control. And in this instance, I will toggle on the button. Next, I'll go ahead and give Access and Allow This Person to Have Full Control. Once again, I'll need to add my Facebook password. And I'll click on the blue confirm button. You'll get an invitation has been sent to this person in the bottom left hand corner. And then you'll see here where it says invitation expires in 31 days. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.